We're checking in with Jill Bellin one final time, hanging out with all kinds of cute kids and our friends at Pedal Heads. Yes, and kids who are very confident on their bikes here, thanks to Pedal Heads, who are taking us through the paces here. So, Caitlin, we've uh, set up a bit of an obstacle course here. What are the kids learning? So, here we have some ramps and a teeter totter. We are Basically, doing a fun way of teaching kids basic bike skills. Okay. So they're learning to control themselves, control the bikes, handle their handlebars properly, and keep themselves up as they go up and over awesome. and balance and some really good steering. <laughs> that little guy has been tearing it up here all morning long. So yeah. these kids are doing great. His eyes lit up when we told him the ramps were coming out. And then the fun part is you get to crash in the pylons. What did they learn there? So that is our bike bowling. And so we set up the pylons so that the kids can, again, control themselves and steer all the way as they aim towards the bike bowling and then smash over all the cones. So awesome. it's, it's a fun way for us to teach basic bike skills for everyone. Yeah. And what kind of results do you see after kids come, you know, from beginning to end? You must really see that confidence building. It's a huge confidence builder, especially doing fun games where they're really succeeding is they can take those skills that they're learning while having fun and bring them onto a road setting where they're going to be hanging out with our, their friends and parents and biking outside. Mm -hmm. So Awesome. And this is the time to start thinking about signing up for those summer camps. So lots of opportunities still for parents to get online and do that. What are you guys offering throughout the summer? So we have full day and half day camps July and August. And we also run after school camps in June. Mm -hmm. So everybody can go online and register. We have all of our locations, which are eight locations across Calgary, running north and south. And they can register and see what the availability is. We're starting to get pretty full, but there's lots of spaces still available. Okay, so you want to hop online to pedalheads.com uh, for all of the details, a program that's been running in our fine city for, for a little while and throughout Canada and North America for 27 years. So that's pretty impressive. Thanks so much for setting this up for us here this morning. We've had a blast. These kids are fantastic. I mean, I would be scared to go over that teeter-totter. It's a lot of fun, and the thing is, any bike skill can do this. It's challenging for everyone, and so... It, it helps build that confidence again. So anybody can do it and have fun with it too. Okay, age ranges for your program? Two to 12. Okay. So we start them really little with our, our TOTS program, which is parents included, and then up to three where we start to bike by ourselves. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Kaylin. This is great and a beautiful day to learn how to bike. Tomorrow, I just want to point out the teeter-totter. We're actually doing something similar to that tomorrow. We are uh, talking to Surfset Gym. So we're checking out a new facility. It's a workout on a wobble board. Whoa. On a wobble board. Cool. That's tough. All right, Jill. We'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Stay, Enjoy the day. Stay balanced.